not knowing is an extremely powerful way that life forces us to be present. What I mean by this is if you did know what you want to do next in your life, then you would just stay in constant motion, going from one thing to the next thing to the next thing. And this is what we see society doing all day, every day. This is because we believe and misperceive our lives to be a journey from point to point. So it's a horizontal, linear journey from where I am now to then do the necessary things to get to where I want to be. And the real question here is, who is the I that wants to be somewhere else? Because what we forget is that there's also the vertical dimension, the present moment, the now, which is the only moment that there ever actually is. One of the big things on my heart recently is transforming people's lives from the inside out. For the first, I would say, 27 years of my life, everything I did was in an attempt to be happy, to achieve something in order to have some sense of fulfillment from the outcome. And you may be looking at your life right now thinking, what am I meant to do next? What is the next step to take? It's really powerful not to know because in the not knowing, you are having to be present. And this is where the real clarity arises. So how do we transform our lives from the inside out? Well, if you're listening to this, then you're looking at somebody who has absolutely no interest in pointing you outside of yourself to just go and continue achieving the next thing. Now, some people may hear that and think, but life is all about how much I can do and how much I can achieve. And a life well lived is filled with all of the accomplishments I can create before I, I die. I'm not saying don't have goals and I'm not saying don't do things, don't achieve things in your life. But what I am saying is be very careful about where they come from. Because if anything that you want to achieve, a relationship, a career goal, a monetary value, some sort of success in terms of who you need to become in your identity, you will never find the happiness. Because what you're saying is, I lack happiness right now, which means I'm incomplete. And when I get that thing, then I'll be happy. And most of the world is living that way, chasing and pursuing something in order to be happy. And in every step of that pursuit, they are overlooking the fundamental truth of who they actually are. You are happiness. Let's be straight about it. And that's why changing your life is a journey that begins from the inside out. Go within yourself to discover who you really are, to discover the essence of your true nature, happiness and peace. And when you start to really understand that and it actually becomes experiential, you feel it then your only requirement would be to then share that the way you want to share it in the world. So have the goals that you want to have, but every goal will then be an expression of your true nature. Meaning I am happy and I know myself to be the happiness that I, that I ultimately am wanting. And now I can go and share that happiness with the people around me, with the people in business, with the world versus I'm not happy. And I need something from the world outside of me in order to be happy. It's so straightforward, yet we continue to overlook it. Every single day you wake up, and if you have to be really honest with yourself, there's some sense of lack within that says, when I have something else in the future, then I'll be happy. And then every step of your life is just around trying to be happy, because that's what we want as human beings. Nobody wants to be unhappy. So what if happiness was not one step away from you? In terms of what I discussed from point A to point B, what happens if happiness is not a step in a certain direction and instead happiness is right now, happiness is what you are? If your ears are hearing this, then happiness wants you to be remembered as the essence of what you are. Leaders, politicians, all wanting happiness for themselves. So making decisions which require some sort of outcome from the world for them to be happy. People in business, competition, greed, pride. Wanting to one up others so that I can be happy. You are happiness. You just don't know it. 
partners in loving relationships, judging, harming, abusing, wanting their partners to do something for them so that they can be happy and feel good about themselves. You're missing the entire point. And don't look at your past and judge anything from what you're hearing me say. Because if you're judging any part of your past, thinking I did all these things that didn't lead me to happiness, it did. This is the sign you've been looking for. This video is your call to remember the happiness that you are. You're completely missing the point if you judge your past. It was what is required in order to get you to where you are right now. A flower does not judge itself for being a seed. And a seed is not trying to be a flower in full bloom one day when it gets to where it thinks it needs to get to. It just is every single moment of the way. Right now, you are happiness, you are peace, and your function, your primary function, is to discover that. It's how I like to help people. It's how I like to serve in this lifetime. It's how I believe I need to show up so that because, because I was lucky enough, because I was blessed enough to discover it for myself. But first, I had to face a whole bunch of shit, all sorts of suffering. And I'm not saying I don't face suffering still. I still meet suffering. But each time I meet suffering, I now remember that I have left the truth of who I am in search for something that can make me more than what I might want right now, which is impossible. So have acceptance for your entire journey, no matter what it held, how horrific it was, what you might have done, what others might have done to you. And hopefully this video is a realization where you can say to yourself, I'm ready. I'm ready to discover the truth of who I really am.